at some point, we all must come to grips with the reality that in life, there is no plan B. There is no plan other than being in awareness, being in acceptance, and being in alignment with your true identity and serving your purpose of serving others in this life. Far too often, I see people who have absolutely deluded themselves. They have dual masters they're serving inside themselves because they continually think that, well, if this doesn't go, then I'll just do that. If that doesn't go, then I'll just do this. And this, and that, and this, which prevents them completely from activating their supernatural superpowers to pull in the solutions when you just go all in on plan A. The only people that have a plan B are the people that don't succeed. They are the people who are too afraid of their ego being wrong, too afraid of failing, which as you guys know, failure equals success. I talk about it all the time on this channel. And they are the kind of people who honestly, I want nothing to do with. If you're a plan B person, stay away from me, straight up. That's my shield of faith. There is no plan B. Anytime I've been highly successful in life, anytime I've gone all in on my intention, to serve others in the highest capacity in what I am doing. Anytime I am all in on plan A, all of a sudden solutions just start to appear from everywhere. Everywhere I go, everything I do, solutions enter my pathway. But at times, I'll be honest, there have been times in my life where I came off the path of discipline, I came off the path of what it really takes to be successful, and I allowed myself to be deluded into thinking that, well, there's a what if, there's a plan B. You guys, one of the best ways to understand this is, fear is what if, and faith is even if. That's right, fear is what if, and faith is even if. if. And the only way we can maximize our potential the only way that we can truly become who we're made to be is by operating in faith and being all in on the calling that's on our life. You guys, tune into your conscience. It is calling you to step up and fulfill your life purpose. It is calling you to put down the drink and the drugs, put down the unhealthy food that you're eating that's not even food, it's food-like substance, Put down negativity, cynicism, pessimism, and negative thought patterns, and put down anything that is not of your highest and best self. And instead of carrying all those low frequency patterns, pick up the yoke of Christ and become the mind of Christ by habitually daily constructing yourself to be the person that you admire most and lead by example for others so that they can do the same. That's it. You guys hear me say this all the time. Life is simple, only egos complicate. It is the ego that tries to get us to say, well, what about plan B? And I love it when people hit me with the, well, you know, James, look at like, you know, uh, Green Berets and Navy SEALs, like they always have a backup plan. Exactly, they have a contingency plan not a plan B. They always have the plan to complete their objective, whatever the cost. And their contingency plans are only to prepare themselves in advance because in life things always go wrong. If you don't know about Murphy's Law, learn about it because Murphy's Law always happens. When things can go wrong, they will at the worst absolute time in the worst ways. Contingency plans are just going through the process of preparing ourselves to know that, hey, the original plan may not go off exactly step-by-step step as planned. However, even if we're going from point A to point B and we end up down here, we don't have to go back to point A to start over again. We just go from where we are and we start attacking point B. We stay all in on the intention to be mission-oriented, mission-driven, and we enjoy the process of planning. 
If you want to be successful in life, you must stay all in on plan A. That's the only way you're ever going to bring the people and resources and experiences into your life that will fulfill your life purpose and maximize your experience. It's a simple fact. Again, guys, life is simple. Only egos complicate. Only the ego tries to delude you into thinking that there is another way than just going all in on plan A. When we stay all in on plan A, serving and stewarding others in the highest capacity for myself, then I always find opportunities to do so. When I get off into the weeds and thinking about the how, I lose my mind because I start getting overwhelmed with all the details and start worrying about stuff that doesn't even matter that will resolve itself because instead of focusing on the how, we must focus on the who. Who must I become as a leader to attract who other people that can help me that will serve who other people through that process? You notice none of that talked about how. What's funny to me though is it has the same three letters in who and how. Just a rearrangement of those three letters. So who do you need to be in your actions? Who do you need to be in your thoughts? And who do you need to be in your energy to stay all in on plan A, to attract other people to help you serve your demographic, your target audience? And now that you know the simple solution in life, which is staying all in on plan A because there is no plan B, what action will you take right now today to stay all in on plan A, to habitually construct yourself, and to let go of unhealthy behavior patterns and bad habits that are no longer serving you and are only keeping you comfortable and only keeping you from reaching your goals? That's your lesson for today to take action on and I know that this is iron sharpening iron. And for those that get this message, you will take action and you will become massively successful in your purpose when you stay all in on plan A. I love you guys. Get to work and always shine brighter.